Okay, so self-introduction. Um, I won't spend very long on this, but it, it would be impossible to understand my research without understanding where I've come from. So I was uh, born and raised in California, the United States, uh, and I went to a regular public high school, just a regular public high school. My father's a teacher. My mother is a, my mother is a teacher in Hoi Kuen. My father is a, a high school math teacher, and he became Kocho Sensei at the end of his career. Uh, so I'm from a teaching family. <laughs> uh, and uh, after, after high school, I, I went directly to Yale University. And uh, so that's on the East Coast, very different cultural experience, very different class experience, um, very much elite, American elite. And I studied history there, and I studied education. And I studied uh, kind of Cold War history, America's presence in Asia, in East Asia. Vietnam War, these types of things. Then after I finished my studies, I, I wanted to see some of the world. So I signed up for a program at Yale called the Yale China Teaching Program. And this is a, a very long-standing program that has, sent, that has sent Yale graduates to teach in China for about 120, 100 years. So they just celebrated their 100th year anniversary. So I taught in a university in southern China, a top-level university. And I was teaching classes about comparative history, comparative culture, of course, very low level because I was just a undergraduate, but it was a it was a chance that's special for Yale China. And probably the best part about that job was I had a lot of time to travel, so <laughs> I traveled all around. For I had two months off in the summers and two months off in the winter, and I traveled all around, all around these areas. From I lived in southern China, I traveled all the way down here across the Silk Road, down into India. And then in the summer, I took, a trip, my, I took a trip to first Taiwan and then to Tokyo. And to be very honest, I didn't have much interest in Japan. <laughs> I wasn't very much interested in Japan. Um, as Americans, we think we know maybe what's going on in Japan. We're pretty confident, right? <laughs> OK. So then when I arrived in Japan, I was completely shocked what's going on in this country right so i've been all around asia and they're not they're doing nothing similar in at that time i thought this is so different than the rest of asia what's going on so it was such a an eye-opening experience for me i went to tokyo i went to takayama i came to kyoto hiroshima and uh, fukuoka and then i when i left Oh, I got, on the, I got on the boat in Shimonoseki to go across to Korea. And at that time, I decided, I have to come back to Japan. This place is so interesting. What's going on here? I, I have to understand especially the difference with China, the difference with China. So, OK. So I decided at that time, my next job will be in Japan. No matter what the job is, I want to go and experience Japan. So. I, after I left China, I decided to find a job in Japan. It's not very easy as a foreigner who doesn't speak, who doesn't speak Japanese uh, and is not a Ryugakuse. Um, but I have English, of course, so I became an English teacher at the JET program. In the countryside, I taught in a high school in Gifu Prefecture, Gifu Ken, for two years. But those two years, of course, I was teaching, but I was learning Japanese, learning about Japan. It was like benkyokai. It was just for myself to learn, basically. Um, so then uh, I decided from there to go off to graduate school. So I wanted to kind of make something of all of these experiences I had. But I didn't want to go back to the United States because I thought the United States conversation is very closed. I was quite shocked that I could graduate from Iwayuru Elite University and know so little about 
Japan or about Asia. I was quite shocked. So I said, I don't want to go there. I'd like to go to someplace more international in outlook. So I went to the UK and I went to Oxford University uh, for my master's and then continued on for my PhD. And when it came time to pick a PhD topic, I could have chosen many things, um, but I was lucky that at the pub one night, at the pub Rosen Crown on the north part of Oxford, I was drinking one night and there was a Japanese man there. And I started talking to him and we shared many drinks and we, had, we got a little bit drunk and we said, hey, nice to meet you. And, yeah. and this man was Karia Sensei. <laughs> So, so then next week, uh, I, I, oh, uh, uh, Karia Sensei, I, I didn't know. Uh, I asked a Japanese friend and my Japanese friend said that you're very famous. And he said, yeah, yeah. How about coming to Japan so we can drink and study together? <laughs> okay, okay. So he was, he was very kind to help me to come back to Todai to, uh, for my doctoral research. So at that time, I, I decided to start my PhD studies on, on Japanese policy reforms from 1990s forward. I will explain what I, what I looked at later. Um, but then I, uh, I spent two years at Todai and uh, finished my PhD, went back to Oxford to finish my PhD. And then I came back again as Gakushin Gai Kokujin Tokubetsu Kenkyuin at Todai and for another two years. Yep. And then I always thought, okay, my life, is, my life in Japan is, is basically finished, right? It must be finished soon because if I want to be a professor, there's no chance to be a, prof a professor in Japan. At that time, even just five years ago, there was no chance, six years ago, to be a researcher, a real researcher. You can be an English teacher, you can be these types of things, but you can't be a, a quote-unquote real researcher. So... Then I was like six months away from finishing at Todai and suddenly Kyoto University has this program called Hakubi. So the Mai no Socho is like saying we have to internationalize, we have to give opportunities to young researchers. Oh, sounds great. I <laughs> applied, I applied and I was lucky to get it. So I started Hakubi in 2012 and uh, and then I was sitting, I was, I was sitting in, I was here at Kyoto University, but I don't think we had any interaction from 2012 to maybe 2015, right? So those three years. Because of course, Hakubi is completely separate than the Kyoto ga Kenkyu ka to ka, right? So it's a very strange relationship. So I, I thought, again, there's no chance to actually enter. No chance to enter. Uh, but so I just have to, f my career will be finished. After Hakubi is finished, my career in Japan will be finished. I will take a position in USA or UK. Um, but then, suddenly, <laughs> from nowhere, the most unlikely place, the most unlikely tenkai ever, <laughs> Abe Shinzo. <laughs> <laughs> 